It's pretty amazing how life kind of leads you in the right direction. For us, Chinatown being closed or not being ready for us meant that we get to explore a restaurant in another area of town that was highly recommended online for their amazing Chinese food, or more importantly, dim sum. Can I just say wow? We have been dying to get dumplings. And we got a few in San Cristobal, they were pretty good. But these, oh my goodness. Burst of flavor, perfectly seasoned, and look at them. Look how perfectly rolled they are. Perfectly rolled. These are the pork, they have a little hint of ginger. Oh, so good. They were so tender on the outside and juicy on the inside and they had camote, they had vegetable ones, aside from the traditional pork and shrimp. They all had so many layers of flavor and with food all your senses are awakened. Nothing else in, in Mexico City. I will be good because this is so worth it. Oh, mm. 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 So good. And Mayhem liked it a lot. Hopefully, it doesn't have actual milk in it. Not planning for us makes way for situations like this and we got to experience something that we weren't quite expecting to experience. It had to be the most amazing dim sum I have ever, ever had. For me, being an immigrant, I have a fascination with cultures that would brought to other lands. I feel like when I left my home country, I missed so many things about it. And back then it was really hard to find. Now, finding Venezuelan food in South Florida is very, very easy. But back then I feel like it was hard. There were a couple of bakeries that had things like cachitos de jamón, but it was rare. So we came here this morning, but they were still setting up, so we're back for dessert. So when I go to countries, or even within the United States, and I find culture that was brought by immigrants, I get so excited and I love to absorb every little bit of it. Like how proud of your culture do you have to be to bring it along and share it completely. Now Chinatown is about two blocks long and I would say caters to tourists or caters to locals. It's not like in San Francisco that the Chinatown really does cater to the Chinese immigrants of the area. Noodles. Noodles. Oh, but we're not hungry. I want to be hungry. Yes, the What? I'm gonna buy this for me. Thank you. What are you gonna This carrot comes <laughs> No, the stores were operated 
by Chinese people. They were all Mexicans, and most of the foods that we tried all had a Mexican spin. Flavors were muted and very of the region. Now I find that when we eat Asian food in Saint San Cristobal, it's really dependent on what they have on hand. So things are seasoned with local ingredients. When they're seasoned with local ingredients, it really does lose its touch with the culture that it came from. Um, these were mochi, or that's what they called it. I had never had something like that. It was like a ball of ice cream wrapped in a sheet of something that might have resembled the chewiness of mochi. The ice cream certainly tasted local. This one I observed, but did not get. She did a pretty good job though. At least I find. Now I can't speak to the authenticity from China because I've never been. But I know that compared to Chinatowns in New York and California, these were very different. <laughs> So we walked around and picked up a few desserts um, with the goal to try because <laughs> we wanted to know. The last one we got was this matcha soft serve. The matcha, sí. Now ice cream in Mexico has really been hit or miss. It, the consistency is not very creamy and it always tastes, tastes like the local milk. What do you think? Does it taste like matcha? A little bit. Slightly flavored. It does have a milk flavor though. Right? It tastes like milk. Mm, more milk than matcha. Like te con leche. We have to wait. What? Are you recording? Yeah. It's hard. Maybe I have to wait. It's not. I'm gonna... Alright, let's see. Maybe it's food. It's ice cream. You're biting into ice cream. Show. <laughs> sure. So I did taste them all. But none of these foods are good for me, so I did not eat them. <laughs> but um, I would call this food fun. It was fun foods. Would I eat them again? Probably not. But it was definitely an interesting experience that I would recommend as just something fun to do. I really cannot have any more sweets. I am done. But that place looks so cute.